Today, I am showing you some new ways on how uh, faster tips, pretty much. Um, so, what was I about to do? I shared my FPS. So, first thing I'm gonna do is follow the yellow big road. Follow the yellow big road. Follow the yellow big road. That's my sexy pickaxe. It's got a pretty good enchantment on it. Anyway, so. First thing is, you might be living on the plains, and you got all this grass, and you're like, oh, it's so dumb just trying to hit it all. Well, there is a lawnmower you can use, and it's called the water bucket. Now, what you can do is, you take the water bucket, and you just place it down, and it just mows it all for you. Look at that. Just got 10 minutes done. Five seconds. Where'd the water go? Okay. Anyway. And you also get the seeds. Now, the way I come up with this one was... Um, I was going through the fields one day. I was like, "This is getting boring," and so I figured, "Well, would water, would the grass block stop a water block, or would the water block go through it, or break it, or what?" So I tested it, and I came up with the lawnmower system. That probably might have been used. I haven't checked it, but you can use that for your lot mowing the lawn. And now, right here, you might have seen this before. If you ever need the most tiny and uh, fastest way and yeah to make a what's it called a cobblestone slash stone generator this is it uh, this one only requires six blocks one lava source one water source a sign and the pickaxe so how to make this is you would want to oh shoot you're gonna go by uh, one two three so one, two, three, four, and the six blocks you have, just put them like this, oh, okay, put one there, and grab this one, not there, mom, idiot, okay, right here, so have a slip thing that looks like this, and then you want to put one right there, and now you can place your water source right here if you wanted to, or well, I mean that's kind of the only way for it to work. And now what you want to do is your lava is going to go right here, so your water and lava are going to meet right here on that block. So you're going to want to align yourself with that block, and the way you're going to get your uh, stone is by through here. But see how the water comes through, so this is what the sign's for. Just put it there. And now you can stand right here, and you can place your lava, and it comes down with no problem because it's not going to hit you. Line it. So this is a for like survival maps. This is a good way to get fast lava and not take up much space for like survival islands. Look at that, seven. That's that's good. Oh, where were we? Right here. Okay. I'll fall the short. This one is most common, probably. Obviously, you can tell that I'm about to shoot that bow. So let's say you have griefer taking your stuff. Uh, an efficient way to stop him instead of running would just be to shoot his boat. And wow, I am a good shot. And you could get me trying to hit myself again. Where's that hit? Right there. And so, yeah, that's it. That one's pretty efficient. Where's it? There it is. So, and oh, and you get the boat back. I was mumbling. I have no idea what I was saying. Here you go. Break the pack. This one is a great way if you are out of coal. A great way to get your food item. Flint steel. Now, be careful when you're using this because this could set your wood on fire. But what this one why is there a baby? Did they have I don't I had two big ones in here, not a baby. Uh, this one makes mobs drop I don't want to sit on that block because that damn thing is going to catch them This sets the mobs on fire, and when they die, they will drop, obviously. You'll be able to see here. Die. It takes them a while. Okay, maybe you don't want to die. Let's set both on fire. Just leave them on fire for a while. Yeah, look at that. Quick push up. This guy's going to die soon, I know it. Oh. 
There we go. Okay, he didn't cook. He, he didn't want to cook that. Maybe it's a certain chance, but I know it works. This one's probably not going to drop it because I don't think baby cows drop it. Die. Yeah, see, baby cows don't drop stuff, but that won't work on the so It should work on the cow. Keep trying to do it. There might be a percentage chance that it happens, but it's gonna happen most of the time. It even works on chickens. That's never come on. Catch on fire! Okay, see, the chicken obviously caught on fire. I might have just burned it. Yep, I burned it. Oh, well. So you get the point. You can burn animals that you can cook their meat and get to cook, pre cooked. And for our last one. An efficient way to get colored wool. Let's put all this stuff away. So, this method is pretty effective, actually, because usually you will take your shears and clip it and then clip them. I don't know what the word is. You'll have to do this for every single piece of or piece of wool you get. But if you just dye the sheep previously, they will drop it, and then they will regrow it. I'm not going to wait this entire time because that'll be a while, but they do regrow their hair, so those are the five tips. I hope that you use none of them because they're all my ideas. I don't know why I put this video. I'm just kidding. So, like, comment, subscribe, enjoy the video, and look for more things that I post on YouTube. I just passed 200 subscribers. I died. So I, um, and I also got 35 likes on a video. What the way? Why? I don't even know how. Cause it's, it's just a single player world. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please watch more of my videos. And please like Thank you.